Well, it's Thursday. The Browns getting closer to heading to Miami to take on the Dolphins on Sunday and good news sort of as we were expecting Mary Kay, but Denzel Ward didn't confirm it. He is planning to play on Sunday coming back from that concussion and the Browns need him and his speed more than ever this week. Yeah, absolutely. Great timing for Denzel Ward and I don't know if I've ever seen him that happy at the podium before, right? I mean, he was all <laughs> smiles. He's so grateful to be back. He feels really good after missing the past three games with his concussion. He feels like they match up really well against these speedy receivers. Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle. he's ready to go. Yeah, Ashley, he even joked when he got up there that he was happy to see us. Yeah, which is kind of surprising because you get that vibe from Denzel that normally he's he's not so happy when he has to do a big giant media availability. But yeah, I mean, I think you definitely saw how much he's missed being out there. And of course, we know how much of a big difference he would make in this game, given Miami's receivers and how fast they are, because of course, Denzel Ward has that quickness himself. And Mary Kay, you mentioned it. They do believe they match up well with this team. Greg Newsom said it. Denzel said it. Joe Woods even acknowledged it. And even more good news, Martin Emerson who missed uh, Wednesday with an illness was back on the practice field on Thursday. Yeah, they have a full complement of defensive backs to go against these guys. And they are pretty confident in matching up against them because of what's going on between them and the Bengals. I mean, they know uh, that they can disrupt Joe Burrow. They know that they can, you know, get after a Jamar Chase and a T Higgins and multiple really good receivers like that. So I think that gives them confidence heading into this game that they have the pass rush to disrupt Tua and then they have the back end uh, to stay with those guys. And Ashley, it's not going to be a surprise Tyreek Hill, Tyree Hill's speed because this team has played the Chiefs the last two seasons, once in the playoffs and once in the regular season. Yeah, Joe Woods kind of talked about that today, that they've kind of had the luxury of having game plan for him before. And I asked Joe Woods, you know, can you replicate that speed that he brings in practice? And he told me what Deion Jones said yesterday, which is no, you can't. But I think the fact that they have gone against him before and had to game plan for him pretty recently is all like a positive thing for this defense as they kind of prepare for what they're going to see on Sunday. Now, a couple guys were still waiting on uh, David and Joku did not practice today. Jeremiah Usukoromoa did not practice today. So Mary Kay, uh, you know, two guys you'd really like to have on Sunday, especially in Joku in this passing game. Yeah, they've got one more day to get back in practice, but right now it's really not looking good for JOK, I don't think. Uh, now, David, on the other hand, uh, every time I walk up to him, in the locker room, he's like, that's the plan. That's the plan. I'm going to try to play. Um, so we'll see. We know he really wants to play. Uh, you know, he played at the U down there, so he would have a little extra incentive for excelling. Uh, but just not sure if that ankle will be ready yet. And actually, it does feel like this would be a good game to have JOK because of the way the Dolphins attack the middle. Right. And last time we saw JOK against the Ravens, he played maybe his best game of the year, I thought, shadowing Lamar Jackson. You really got to see that athleticism. So if he's not able to go out there, which I think Joe Wood said, it's like called it a day-to-day -day situation, said he's rehabbing this knee injury. They're going to need another big game, I think, from Sione Taki Taki, who had 13 tackles against the Bengals and was flying all around. And Amari Cooper, we heard from him today. He is returning back to Miami. There's like four places where every NFL player is from. Miami is one of them. But Amari Cooper today spoke and said he grew up a Dolphins fan, mentioned Ricky Williams, Zach Thomas, uh, Ronnie Brown, some Jason Taylor, some of those guys that he really grew up loving as a Dolphins fan. Yeah, and you know what? Amari has been tremendous. He's had a couple of really good games. He really seems to understand uh, his role in the system now. Jacoby is heating up with him just in time for Deshaun to come back. But uh, those two guys have been dynamite together, and they're going to try to keep it going. And Ashley, we've seen that downfield passing game kind of get going a little bit between those two. Yeah, especially against the Bengals. I mean, I think guys said that they felt like the vibes were different going into that game. The energy was higher, that it, it just was unlike anything that had happened in the previous seven games of the season. And I think we saw that. And of course, Amari Cooper got going with Jacoby in that game. But Jacoby did a really nice job, I thought, in that one of spreading the ball around and getting multiple guys going. So I think that's definitely what this offense should look like. All right, Browns Dolphins Sunday at 1. It's getting closer. We'll cover everything leading up to the game and, of course, the game itself all at cleveland.com slash browns.